Hello, it's the evening of day three of the 2023 Atlas Mountain Race, and there's some big news from the race. Um, the new leader, or former new leader, uh, Matteo De Macchi, um, or was that Matteo De Macchi? Sorry, I'm really bad at these pronunciations still. Uh, he took the lead earlier, but he has scratched. So we saw this from the official Atlas Mountain Race Instagram page uh, probably about an hour and a half, two hours ago. Um, so it's eight o'clock UK time. Um, yeah, and it sounds like um, Matea has, has, has scratched from the race, from the race lead, uh, which he took um, at some point last night. So if we go over to his, his personal Instagram page, um, the the post that that no uh, no rider in one of these races ever really wants to make the, the scratch post, um, and he says so. It's not the ending I was expecting. Suddenly the feeling of not being able to breathe. I never I try never to complain or feel sorry for myself, but some sometimes there is no choice but to stop. I will come back, as I always do. Um, so yeah, I mean that's. Uh, I mean, this must be heartbreaking for Matea. Um, you know, it sounds like illness, some kind of chest infection. Um, it's, it's hardly surprising given the conditions in the race. I noticed earlier on Instagram, um, Josh Reed, um, he's kind of further back, um, made it CP2, going to sleep here and see if I can solve the issue of coughing up blood. I mean, that's not that's not an, an ideal thing. I suspect the the like the real cold at night and the heat in the day, um, the change in temperature. It's a very dry, cold as well. That's going to affect your chest. Coupled with that dehydration, warm in the day, not enough water at night. Some riders' bottles have actually been freezing, and all those things. It's just going to play havoc with your body. Um, so it's hardly surprising to see. To see riders having these problems, it's just a real, real shame for Matia that um, you know he just just took the lead um, and he's, he's lost it almost as quickly as he got it. And about three, it must have been about three fifty, four hundred k to go as well. And he'd, he'd done all the hard sections, so that uh, must be gutting for him. But it means the race is now well and truly back on. So let's have a little look at the race map and see what is going on. So as you can see. Um, we saw earlier today and through the night last night, Matteo overtook Justinus and Robin caught him up as well. Um, and they're together now, first and second, it looks like, both on the same distance on the map. Um, so they've been through checkpoint three and I think they're now on the, they're getting towards the new section of the course. So I'm not overly familiar with this section. Um, so last year or you know, four months ago the race finished in Agadir. Now we've got this long section at the top here. Um, let's have a little look, just see what the conditions are doing because this can make a bit of a difference. Um, you know, wind is, uh, oh, it's a headwind, look at that. So yeah, you can see it's not massive, but as they get closer towards the coast, it does look like it's gonna warm up a little bit. It looks towards the south of the, the Atlas. It's obviously trapping the cold air and we've got a, a warm front coming in from above. Um, but the wind, as soon as I imagine there's a few, this is a kind of a big flat area here where my, my cursor is. Um, but I imagine there's a fair bit of climbing. Um, oh yeah, you can see that there's, there's some climbs coming up, up and over. And then it looks like they're going to be exposed and running down the coast road towards the finish. Um, let's do a bit, my favorite, um, you know, there's all these fancy mapping apps and things out there, but actually the best thing is good old Google Maps. So looks like there's a bit of a greener area. Maybe that's woods, not quite sure. Um, but they, they kind of skirt this, this lake and then go down the coast. So let's see if we can find any information on Google Maps. Here's that lake. Um, <clears throat> they, uh, Morocco is, is one of these mysterious countries which, which isn't actually fully mapped and uh, owned by Google. Um, so we're gonna have to do a little bit of digging to see what it's like over here in this area. Um, let's see, are there any little dots anywhere? Oh, there's one there, look. So it looks like they're coming along this lake. They weren't on the road, were they? So, um, oh, it's not working with my mapping software, is it? 
I've broken Google. Um, let's try again. So let's see what it's like along this lake. So uh, it's a little bit greener, but uh, there's the lake. So I assume they'll be coming along either one of the sides here. Again, much like the rest of the terrain in the country. Um, it looks like there's some dirt roads up here as well they're going to take. And then it seems to be they take the coast road to finish. Um, so I think it was this one here. Let's just compare it to the map. Um, where are we? Azuria. Um, yeah, so they're running down this coast road. So if I get the little man and see if there's any any little dots of interest down here, just to see, oh, look at that, nice gravel tracks and roads. So there might be a nice gravel gravel run into the finish. Um, I mean, I guess, I guess, I guess at this point it's. Um, I mean, what time is it now? It's 8 p.m. in the UK, so it will be 9 p.m. Um, they're going to be running into the night. I mean, I was reading earlier, I think Justina skipped a night's sleep earlier on. Robin has been sleeping more. That may well come back to haunt Justina now. Um, I think it's going to be a staying awake competition now. They both seem fairly evenly matched. Um, but it's still, there's still a long way to go. You know, it's, um, it's what, 13, let's call it 13.30 for argument's sake. Um, and they're just you know, below a thousand, you know, it's 300 or K. I mean, if you went out for a 300 K bike ride on any given day, that would hurt. So I think it's going to be just a, uh, who can stay awake the longest tonight and then who's got the legs for it, who can just keep fueling and who's just got the most bloody mindedness just to keep on pushing. It's going to be really interesting to, to see, see what happens. Um, so yeah, I guess, uh, guess stay tuned keep watching the dots i shall do another update in the morning um if it's 300k i mean i suspect the the winner will be tomorrow morning at some point um it's probably going to take well it depends on the wind it's going to take most of the night i would have thought so i shall check back first thing in the morning i shall do another update and uh, and bring you all the news i can as always um please subscribe to the this youtube channel if if you think it's useful and you like it and you'd like to see some more hit the bell notification and then you'll get updates as soon as i release something and uh, tell your friends and share it uh, thanks for watching and i shall see you again in the morning